Colonial Williamsburg. It tells local tales from past centuries without modern conveniences like smoke detectors, air conditioning, all of that. It's fascinating how they do this. Yeah. Today on Inside Access, Rochelle Peart shows us how they stay true to colonial times 400 years <laughs> later. Now we all know about that Virginia heat and humidity and how it's unforgiving. So the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation does its best to remain authentic to the 18th century with the hidden comforts of the 21st. We hide a lot of these things. We, we excel at hiding things from visitors. As technology makes things more convenient, Colonial Williamsburg strives to maintain historical accuracy. Matt Webster, Director of Preservation and Research, says there's more than painting and cleaning when it comes to maintenance. At the very beginning, there's a lot of research. So understanding the buildings, um, understanding the materials, and how best to treat those and make sure that they, they survive. One of the biggest challenges comes from the amount of traffic that comes through the historic city. We have buildings that have over 400,000 visitors a year. And when you consider, you think about your home, you, you don't have 4,000, 100,000 people going through your home in a year or, or probably in the entire lifetime of your house. So we do what are called preventative maintenance closings that take care of kind of the wear and tear of being being open to the public. So bringing the history to life and to that many people takes teams, tactics and technology. In the coffee house, James Zilius points out one feature they've added to preserve the displays. What we've done is we've we've affixed a, a film on the windows, which you can barely see. The film preserves interior features by decreasing ultraviolet light and reflecting heat. Temperature and humidity levels in the buildings must be both monitored so and analyzed. This is called hoboware. So the preventative conservation lab is housed away from the historic area. Every decision here is made with preservation in mind, down to the storage containers, which must be non-acidic. Um, the acid can also leach into paper, which would end up degrading the paper, or textiles, or um, any several of the other artifacts we might have. No detail is too small when it comes to the bigger picture, protecting and preserving the stories of the past. Mm. Now y'all, I tried. Uh -huh. I tried to find some of the hidden things, but that team, they are good at what they do. <laughs> Crews in, are in and out of the buildings before your first cup of coffee, but mm. maybe the second for these guys over here. Yes, <laughs> maybe no the second. doubt about that. So you didn't see any of the reenactors texting on their cell phones? No, they didn't have <laughs> No phones. digital watches. They didn't, they didn't yeah. even have the analog watch like I have. Wow. None of it. They pulled out their little pocket watch, the one lady, oh, nice. and that's how she was checking the time. That's very neat. How Michelle, cool is that? Thank you. I like that. Yeah, and if you have an idea for inside access, please let me know. You can send me an email or reach out on social media.